Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan in this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations where we are going to solve one very interesting quartic equation with the help of quadratic. So let's get started by writing our term to LHS only. So let me write, I will write x power 4 plus 6x cube plus 7x square minus 6x minus 1 equal to 0. Now I will write one algebraic identity which we will use here. That is a plus b plus c whole square expansion formula. That formula is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 times ab or you can take 2 common also 2bc plus 2ca. This identity we know it is a plus b plus c whole a square. Now I am going to set this identity into the given problem. How it will work? Let us split our 7x square as let me write here x power 4 plus 6x cube. Then I am writing 7x square as 9x square minus 2x square. Okay. This is 7x square. Now rest as it is unchanged and last term that is minus 1 I will write plus 1 minus 2. Now I will only use algebraic manipulation to set into the whole square form. How it is? Only target the three terms. First three terms let me write first three term. 1 then I will consider 9x square then I will consider 1. Okay, let me write here x power 4 plus 9x square plus 1 and remaining term we will write as it is. Okay, remaining term we will write as it is. So let me write the remaining term that is plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 6x minus 2 equal to 0. Now you can notice here we are having two negative sign also. That means it is not a plus b plus c whole square. It would be somewhere in between minus sign is there. So let me write only. I can see x power 4 as x square whole square. This thing is confirmed. Second is 3x whole square. This is also confirmed. And see here it is minus sign involved. So I can think about minus 1 whole square. Okay, now you can set all the remaining terms. If this is A, this is B and this is C. Try to set if it is coming. Okay, twice AB. So 2 times x square times 3x. Okay, we will check it is 6x cube. So it is there. Plus 2 times BC. So B is 3x. C is negative 1. So yes, it is minus 6x already there. Then third term is 2 times CA. So 2 times C is negative 1. A is x square. Okay. Minus 2 equal to 0. You can see it is already in the form. So this expansion is basically x. Let me write here x square plus 3x minus 1 whole square. Okay. Now minus 2 equal to 0. So this quartic equation is converted into quadratic equation. So solution will be easy. Now let me write and we will solve it. I will write x square minus 3x plus 3x minus 1 whole square is equal to 2. Take the square root both sides. So I will write x square plus 3x minus 1 equal to plus minus square root 2. Now I will split in two quadratic equations. So first equation would be with plus sign. So that would be x square plus 3x minus 1 equal to plus square root 2. And second equation is x square plus 3x minus 1 equal to minus square root 2. Okay. 
So take all the terms to left x square plus 3x minus 1 minus square root 2 equal to 0. Here x square plus 3x minus 1 plus square root 2 equal to 0. All right. Now you can write here a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, c is equal to minus of 1 plus root 2. And here also a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to minus 1 plus root 2. Now I am going to apply quadratic formula. So let us apply. I will write x is equal to minus b, minus 3 plus minus square root b square, so 9 minus 4 ac, so plus 4, 1 plus square root 2 divided by 2a, that is 2. And here I can write minus 3 plus minus square root b square, so I will write 9 minus 4 ac. So minus 4, a is 1, c is negative 1 plus root 2 divided by 2. Okay. Now let's simplify what value will come out. So this value will come out minus 3 plus minus square root 9 plus 4 plus 4 root 2 over 2. And in this equation, quadratic equation, we will have 9 square root 9 minus, so it will become plus 4 minus 4 root 2 divided by 2. Okay, let's write our final answer. x will come out minus 3 plus minus square root 13, 9 plus 4 is 13 minus 4 root 2 over 2 and from the second equation we will be having minus 3 plus minus square root under the root 13 minus 4 root 2 minus is done so second equation will give plus 4 root 2 over 2. Okay, If I will club both the equations I can write our answer in composite form how it will be I can write minus 3 plus minus and see because of it is conjugate. See this value and see this value. It is conjugate in form. So I can write after clubbing it, I can write plus minus 4 root 2 divided by 2. So quartic equation will have these four solutions. All solutions are real. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Keep practicing questions.